Hello everyone, welcome to Green Gander 75. My name is Buddy and welcome to the new shop. So it's been uh, just about a year and a half uh, getting to this point, but I think we're ready to start making some videos. I just wanted to uh, provide you with a quick shop update, letting you uh, have a look around uh, to the new shop. And then um, following this video, we're gonna jump right into um, a short project that I'm working on um, on a coffee maker. Well, this is uh, this is the main work area of the shop. Um, my uh, my work area is a lot smaller than it used to be, but uh, the nice thing is is that this is home. This is um, you know I'm not renting this place or anything. This this is this is home. This is where I'm going to be for many many years. I hope. So, um, so this is the main work area, uh, computer station, uh, computer does move out of the way so I can use that as a workbench, uh, toolboxes, long ways to go before those are full and I can start showing them out, showing them off, you know, but, uh, got a few, got a few tools in there and, um, nothing, <laughs> nothing to write home about just yet, but we'll get there. All right, so you recognize this, this is my, uh, workbench, uh, or part of the workbench from the old shop. And um, got it back into uh, into my new shop here with uh, some modifications to it, so I can actually sit up to it, and that's uh, really nice. Um, working on another coffee maker. This is what uh, this right here is. Um, this will be the next video that I publish. It will be about that. It's gonna be a short video. Boat motor project uh, temporarily on hold right now. I'm hoping to get it get back to that first part of the year. So, uh, inside of the shop, uh, future project getting this all running again. Um, looking forward to doing that. Definitely be doing some videos on that. Got to uh, rebuild uh, how this saw works. Um, got a lot of work to do. It, it doesn't even have a motor, so this is at least not one that's, uh, that's functional proper for it. Looking forward to this, uh, getting this running. Um, you've seen this many times in the background of a lot of my videos, and um, we're now in a position to go ahead and get this thing running. Just looking forward to doing that. All right, go switch the camera over in this way, and you're going to recognize some tools in just a minute that you've seen before. All right, so now you're looking in the opposite direction you were looking at a minute ago, and laid the mill made it. Uh, I wish I could say they made it in great shape, but they didn't survive the move very well at all. Got a lot of work to do. Um, the uh, the mill is really sloppy. You're gonna have to do a lot of work with it. Um, uh, one of the gibs got broken in the process of moving, so I'm gonna have to replace it. Got a lot of work, a lot of work to do on this. Um, some of them I'm gonna show on video, some of them not. Uh, I'm just gonna get it done. So. Got a lot of work to do on that, but it is still workable. I've been using it. Um, never did expect to do a lot of uh, precision work with it uh, just because of the age of it, uh, at least not in this current condition. But um, it's definitely, you're definitely not doing any fine work on it right now. Alright, so way back here in the back, and here he is the lathe. Um, it's in here really nice, a uh, good spot for it, and um, it's doing pretty good. Uh, floor here is actually a lot uh, less level than the floor where it was at four, um, but uh, so gotta get some feet put on these. So we're gonna do that very soon, and um, who knows, might even do a video on making some feet for these machines. And uh, looking forward to getting that. Tailstock on a lathe is going to be the next project, uh, major project I'm going to be starting on. And I'm looking forward to getting that done so I can really start to use this lathe like it's meant to be. I got AC. How about that? Never had AC in a shop before. Got AC, so that's, that's pretty awesome. Here's the boat motor. I mean, forgot about it. We're going to get back to it. Um, going into winter now and so that's going to be a, a late winter is probably going to be a good time to, to start working on that and get it finished up so we'll be ready to roll by springtime okay so 
that's that's pretty much it for my shop. But now this is what's going to be really neat, and I'm looking forward to showing you this because you've actually seen this place before in, in my videos, but you've never seen it quite like this. So we're going to go out this door here to my right, and I'm going to show you exactly where I'm at. Check this out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is what I'm really excited about. Here is this door. Check this out. You've seen this place before. You might recognize it if you watch some other videos, especially the last one. No, well, one for us. Ladies and gentlemen, my shop is part of my dad's shop. Let's go out and check out his wood shop. Well, here we are, back in my dad's shop. Man, it's nice to be home. This shop is where I grew up in. I mean, as soon as I was able to walk in, they used to carry me out here when I was a little baby. So I've been in this shop for most of my life. It is good to be back home. I tell you what, I, it is just, uh, I mean, I, I, I know this shop like the back of my hand. So glad to be back home and glad back into familiar surroundings. And um, gosh, I'm looking forward to, uh, well, we can do woodworking projects now because my dad, uh, his, his long-term hobby uh, is woodworking. and. Here we are. So I'm really excited to be back. And uh, he, he's got a full woodworking shop. And uh, so this is this is wonderful. So this is this is his shop. Um, and then my shop is right over here to the left. Um, it's an enclosed uh, air conditioned space to keep keep the machinery uh, from rusting. Uh, his shop is not air conditioned, which is fine um, when you're working around wood. And everything we got good uh, cross through ventilation system to uh, move the dust out and uh, makes for a nice working environment so I'll tell you what it's it's nice it's a really really comfortable place to work and um, once again man I'm back home this is wonderful did, did some improvements uh, if you saw the video uh, with my dad and um, a while back and um, you probably noticed it's a little brighter in here we've upgraded the lighting uh, added quite a bit more light and um, upgraded uh, you know got the got a little bit better uh, power in here and uh, three phase converters in here too now uh, rotary, rotary phase converters in here so that's that's really nice to have that uh, I got a good air supply uh, compressors off over here you may see them run every now and then um, but uh, other than that, uh, oh, we got a sink. I got a sink in the shop now, so that's that's really nice to have, be able to clean up and uh, wash parts out here in the shop, which is really nice. Um, coffee maker here behind me. Next video you see is going to be a short video on that coffee maker. Um, looking forward to showing you that. As soon as I stop filming this, I'm starting that, and um, going to be posting that here very soon. So uh, let's go back in the machine shop and we'll close this video out. All right, back here in the machine shop. Um, we're going to wrap this video up and uh, going to move on to the next project. So I uh, hope you enjoyed having a look at the new shop. A little bit of adjustment, a little bit smaller, but I tell you what, it, it, uh, just being home, I mean, it's, it's a wonderful thing. So. Um, we're going to call that one a wrap. So I want to thank you for watching. Uh, thank you for sticking with me uh, while I was uh, out doing the move and, and uh, getting things set up here. And uh, I can't believe we're, I'm still uh, increasing subscribers uh, even though I've been gone for a little while and even had my videos down for a little while while I was gone. And, uh, but people stuck with me and I appreciate it very much. So uh, once again, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching. And looking forward to uh, seeing you on the next one. And y'all have a good evening.